when I got my car, it, it has the glass in, but it doesn't have the chrome fitting. Um, it came with the chrome fitting in the boot, which is fine. Um, having done a bit of research, putting it in really requires the window taking out. But then somebody commented on the forum, uh, then whatever you do, don't grind off the the lip that's on the frame. But a bit more research showed me that this frame here should have a small lip sticking out there, which presumably locates nicely into the rubber surround. I don't have a lip because it's already been ground off. Also, for whatever reason, the passenger side frame had been cut into two pieces. Well, with a fair amount of effort, just using the palm of my hand, I have managed to at least get a lot further. I just need to try and get some leverage to get this top piece in. So you can see it's in, but then if I let it go, yeah, it gently wants to come back out. But if I can get that glued into place, it'll be enough. This chrome frame is joined at that point there and that point there to the other frame that goes on the other side. With a bit of manoeuvring, I've managed to get one of the original chrome joining pieces to slot over the join. So I'm, I'm one less on either the top or the bottom. But I'm reasonably happy that I'm utilizing the chrome strip that I guess was the original one with the car. I seem to be having a lot more trouble with the driver's side frame. And then I noticed on the bit um, in the middle that was uh, kept popping out was this one, you can see it has just a flat surface there. That edge wasn't pushing into the rubber. The other one on the passenger side had actually had this um, pointed a little bit so you just had not quite a knife edge that slotted so in I'm going to go all around this this edge this flat bit and put a chamfer on it and hopefully that will help it locate into the gap in the rubber. I think that's what's stopping this. I just cannot get it to um, to locate. I'm just using a grinding wheel at a slight angle. Moving down, you can just see the difference between my shiny bit for the new point and the old stuff. So I've polished it both sides but I've also spent some time making sure there's not a sharp point because I don't actually want it to cut the rubber. This method of putting in this uh, trim, uh, <laughs> you're supposed to push in here fairly thick uh, strimmer uh, line, which is what people use now. And you put that in all the way round and then you start to push your trim in and then as you do that you pull this back and it opens up the gap and allows you to push the trim in and i've got a, a thicker wire it's, it's the only one i've got that's long enough so you just keep pushing it in um as I pull this, I can push it in, but I'm gonna see what happens when I get to this corner. So although I started at the center there, 
I'm getting to this point here and it's not lining up, but I have found if I just gently tap, it's moving across. So I'm just gonna keep going. Well, it is slowly going in, pulling that back. But it's a slow process. And sometimes it's, it's just the angle I'm now tapping it from this side to getting it to, to go in. And I certainly think it's helped by taking the flat edge off and having that uh, point so it can find the slot easily and that's just the last bit to go. There's a couple of areas which I think need a bit more persuasion. this method did work starting at the center I had to knock it across a little bit to get the corner in um, if I just get one more of those chrome joining pieces that will probably hold all that together the edges have generally turned out well So I've put that trim piece on and that's that's holding that reasonably well. This piece is holding this piece there, which will go down, but then it comes back. And I think I'll use that black high temperature sealant that we used on the exhaust manifold. I'll lift the chrome trim a little bit, clean underneath, with acetone, apply this sealant to both the bottom and top edge underneath, push it all back in place, put some pressure on, I haven't decided how, and then leave that all to cure. And I'm, I'm pleased with how it's turned out.